Hey there, folks. It's Ethan the Farmer. It's dark out here because guess what? It's not even 6 a.m. And <clears throat> on the road out here, headed to go make a difference, gonna get involved in a hazardous waste recycling event, turn in event uh, for household hazardous waste. We did one last weekend and we're doing another one today in the suburbs of the great metropolis of Philadelphia. Many thanks to Kingdom Promotions for helping us get these things uh, and work these events. But anyway, um, those guys are awesome. If you ever need somebody to staff an event, I think those are the fellas I'd call anyway. They seem to have their head screwed on straight for the most part. As close as you can when it comes to dealing with events. But anyway, um, we're on the road uh, out here headed to go make a difference. Yeah, I got a little beat up this last week, a little on the head, but you know what? I've been beat up before over the head. This last week, me and a shelf, we had a disagreement, and the shelf decided to koala up the top of my head, and it was not so good. But uh, I was down for a few little bit with that, but I'm up, I'm kicking. I'm driving down through rural Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, on my way to Philly, and I'm passing a greenhouse that is growing hemp lots of it you know why i can tell it's hemp the lights are all on number one number two um i can smell it but anyway um glad to see some folks growing some hemp that's some decent stuff for textiles and fuel and medicine and all kinds of good stuff there's a pile of things you can do with it but uh i just find it interesting if pass an amish farm and the greenhouse is lit up like christmas at five something in the morning because they're growing hemp and I mean you can tell it there's no doubt when you smell it but anyhow um off to go do this hazardous household hazardous waste uh turn in thing event for the great folks here in Philadelphia keep these nasty chemicals and and batteries and stuff like that out of the landfill not a good place for stuff and uh try to make a difference in their lives their community and the environment so um, <coughs> yeah lots of fun sorry I'm still fighting this head cold a little bit but I'm a kicking like a mule and out here um, yeah it's it's a uh, it's been a long week and this is the season for long weeks you know uh, I know a lot of other people struggle with the holidays and the change in the weather and the change in the daylight hours. And, you know, tonight they say we uh, gain an hour. I'm not quite sure how you can gain an hour, but I like an old uh, meme I saw where it said, you know, only the American government thinks you can cut a foot off the bottom of a blanket and add it to the top and make a blanket longer. Um, and it's true. Uh, it's kind of dumb, but... They do it anyway, and they've been doing it for a lot longer than you and I have been involved in it. But, you know, anyhow, uh, if you all are going out with your youngins tonight, I pray you be safe. Um, a lot of crazy stuff in our world right now, and yeah, it's just, it's a crazy, crazy place we are as, as a world and a society. Uh, if you're um, looking forward to the election... You know, we're not a, this particular part of the nonprofit, GTKYF Foundation Inc., is not a political nonprofit. Um, that being said, we do have a 501c4 under a different entity um, that is a political nonprofit. And, um, yeah. So here we have some Mennonite folks on their bicycles with a cart behind it at five something in the morning off to go do something uh flashing light on the back end of the one bicycle It'd be nice if they put it on all the bicycles but hey um and my thoughts on the election a lot of people have asked who am i voting for and i tell them you know it's a real struggle for me to vote for either one of the two primary candidates because they're both pedophiles and I call it to their face. That's what they are. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Yeah, the one prefers little kids over adults, but still, that's the same. In half a mile.
Turn left on West right, Kings that's, Highway. That's my GPS telling me where I got to go to find this place. So half a mile, I got to make a left-hand turn. But that all being said, um, it's pretty sad when the country this big, the best people we can come up with are convicts. You know, both of them belong in prison for a multitude of reasons. And what are we doing? We're trying to put them in the highest office in the land. Something is downright screwy with this plan. And frankly, I think we ought to have like a dairy farmer, you know, a mom-pop dairy farmer or somebody like that, or even a mechanic or, I don't know, small business owner, somebody that is a mom-pop joint, shopkeeper, something. I think we ought to put somebody like Turn that. left on West Kings Highway. Because if we were to put somebody like that in the White House... Well, number one, they could read a profit and loss statement and understand that spending more money than you're bringing in doesn't work very well. Continue straight for nine minutes to State Route 82. Pardon my uh, GPS. It's telling me I got to go to State Route 82. But anyway, I'm headed to Lancaster County because I'm headed towards Philly. Um, but it comes down to we shouldn't be supporting this type of behavior. We shouldn't be putting people that behave like these two on a pedestal. I mean, this is just flat ludicrous. There's, there's something is bad wrong with this program. And I get it. Money seems to be the only way you can get in that office. But that's not what the Founding Fathers intended. And by God, that's not what I think's right. I don't think money should buy you a political position where you're set for life. Because that's just not right. And the whole concept of what they're doing isn't right. Um, I have a very sneaky suspicion that it's going to get really ugly here in the next few months. And I honestly think that this country is headed for a recession, if not a depression, because of the behavior of our leadership. There's a lot of people that are still struggling from being hit with all of this. And we haven't even seen the housing mess blow up yet because they have a moratorium on evictions and foreclosures. Wait till that lets loose. You think you think uh, things are bad now? I got news for you. It's coming. You know, they've been propping it up and trying to keep it inflated through the election to keep people uh, interested in the, in the crazy system. You know, you got Democrats and Republicans, but frankly, they're both birds of the same feather. Or feathers of the same bird. You know, one's on the right side, one's on the other side, left side, but they're still stinking pigeon feathers. You know, flying rat feathers. They're not elephants, they're not donkeys, they're rats. Political rats. And it's just, we got a mess. So, as far as I'm concerned, we need better options to of what to put in the White House. Not this nonsense we got today. Um, I just, I think that somebody's lost their mind. A lot of somebody's. And it's not right. You know, the coronavirus lockdown, that's a crazy circus. It has been for a long time. It doesn't make sense what they're doing. If this virus is so contagious that you can get it by not wearing a dirty diaper across your face, in essence, because frankly you're putting all those bacteria and germs that you on your face over and over and over again, then <clears throat> why is it they got to stick a swab all the way back to your brain, back to your nostril, to figure out if you have it? The whole, I mean, granted, I think this thing exists. But I don't think it's what they say it is. And honestly, I don't know if they know what it is. You know, I was talking to somebody the other day and they told me uh, they don't even think they've actually isolated the actual virus itself. It's in the same family as the common cold. And they still to this day haven't come up with a cure for the common cold. This is crazy. And yes, people are probably dying from it. People die from the common cold. People die from the flu. People die from stubbing their toe on a rock it's yeah i mean i've seen all kinds of stuff a couple months ago i was hanging out with a homeless guy and his feet were so rotten it was yeah it was bad 
because he didn't change his socks and didn't take care of his feet. Got them wet and they just, yeah, they rot, literally rotted inside his socks. Stinky. And, you know, I tried to help him get some help for it. But the situation is people aren't paying attention. People don't get it. People don't care. What is wrong with a society that no longer cares? <clears throat> a lot. And the only thing our political system cares about is greed, money, and power. And I don't think that's uh, what they're supposed to be caring about. This is supposed to be a system by for the people, by the people, not for the government. It's not supposed to have an elite class of government that rules the world. Um, the presidency was never intended to be a monarchy. But sure enough, uh, it's becoming one in many different ways. <clears throat> so I would encourage you to vote with your conscience. I would encourage you to vote on the issues because obviously voting on the individuals is kind of a mute point since they're both convicts. And I have no issue telling them both they're convicts. Um, yeah, so anyway. Montemara need, still needs some funding. Uh, we need some funding to keep some of the programs going here. We're short on donations as, as figures. I mean, that's normal. But anyway, if you feel like donating or really could help us, you can always donate at donate.gtkyf.org. Again, that's donate.gtkyf.org. Um, if you want to reach me, it's me at ethanthefarmer.com. Again, that's me at ethanthefarmer.com. And that's how you can reach me the easiest way. I love to read you all you all y'all's emails and try to communicate with y'all and stay up to date. Sometimes I get behind because some days it's a little intense. And I'm not talking a type of intense like you go camping in. I'm talking the stressful intense. But uh, that's my joke for the day. Um, but, you know, try to keep uh, your head screwed on straight. And if things do get crazy... Have a plan. Figure out what you're going to do. I mean, I've been telling people for a long time they need to they need to figure out how to survive without the system because the system is broken and eventually it will fail. Maybe not today. Maybe not next week. But someday this system will fail. You know, history is destined to repeat itself by those who don't study it. And uh, they've taken pretty much most of the factual history out of our schools. So, if they're not studying it, and it ain't in our schools, that means the youngins ain't studying it, we got a problem. And they're destined to repeat it. So, really excited about a group of folks that have decided to put together a project. Uh, I think they're actually going to turn it into a non-profit, but it's a group that is set out to help uh, Amish primarily children um, but I think they would take adults too if they were being if they were uh, being abused and it's Amish relief mission and it's geared towards helping um, children that are victims of uh, abuse sexual physical mental abuse within the Amish and plain Dutchified communities Mennonite uh, in half a mile communities Turn right on State Route 82. I apologize for the blasted GPS, but if I don't have it, I don't know where I need to go. And these uh, ladies that put this together, they have a heart for those who are being abused and or have been and are being punished for it. Uh, a lot of people say, well, the Amish church is no more abusive than the English church, which would be most of the rest of the world is considered English by their standards. Um, and in reality, it may not be any more abusive, but the way they deal with abuse is totally... Turn right on State Route 82. ...wampus to, um, how the rest of the world would deal with it. And they oftentimes fault the victim... In 900 feet, turn left to U.S. 30 East. ...the victim in many different ways. And that's a problem, you know. Victims don't have any place to go. Turn left to U.S. 30 East. Their community. They don't have any resources to get out of that mess. 
Now, I'm not advocating people leaving the Amish church by any means because I think there's a place for that in this world and I think they have the freedom of religion. But what I am advocating is accountability and consequences for their actions and a plan to prevent these... Continue things. straight for 11 minutes to US 202 North King of Prussia. And for the most part, their church has avoided accountability for these actions. So I'm glad to be lending a hand as, as, as we can to try to help these people address this issue. I think it's something that ought to be addressed and um, I think there's a lot of church leaders that need to be held accountable and they're not. Um, so if any of you folks know a little bit about my story, you know that I spent time in foster care as a youngster um, as a result of the issues between me and my dad. So anyway, that being said, I would uh, encourage you all to support those folks in their efforts. I don't know if they have an official way to donate yet, but when they do, we'll be sharing some of their stuff and trying to help them along the way. Um, that's just because that's who we are. Um, what else? We got Operation Winter going on right now, which is doing coat drives and soup drives and things like this in multiple cities. Um, we got folks doing... Uh, advocacy in relation to the accountability protests that are going on around the country and you know there's just a lot of needs in a lot of places and we could really use your help in continuing to supply all these needs we still have folks down in Louisiana that are uh, suffering from the damages. They got three hurricanes already this season. Now granted the last one wasn't too much uh, but still I mean three hurricanes in one season is plenty too, one, plenty too many and they need a lot of help. We're going to be doing a special uh, talking about one specific family, actually probably two specials talking about two specific families who we've been involved with down there trying to help them get on their feet and things that have happened to them and uh, the whole situation. Because I believe our government and our society has failed these people. Um, it's just wrong. And we need to be aware of that and willing to address it as a community and as humans. Because these are fellow humans. You know, when you have a struggling family that has no home to go back to, couldn't get insurance because they weren't, they can't get it, not available and they still owe money on that house they still have a mortgage on it which I mean he has to be at a private mortgage because a bank wouldn't loan under those terms but still they don't have the resources to go get another home and it's our desire to lend a hand through neighbors helping neighbors and salt of the earth to those are two programs of GTKYF Foundation Inc to help these people get back on their feet and show them that other humans do love them, do care about them. They are humans. They are our neighbors, regardless if we're neighbors across the country or if we're neighbors next door. And regardless of, you know, their financial, socioeconomic status. And as far as I'm concerned, we need to be these people's brother and stand with them. So we're going to be asking you folks to donate to a fund to help put that particular house back together um, here in the coming weeks uh, because it's our desire and I plan on going down there personally and doing the work, donating my time to put their house back to a livable, safe, functional, secure home. Um, and I think as we do this, we ought to be conscientious of the environment in which this home is in and put it back together in such a way to mitigate the damages in the future. Because I think it's ridiculous to keep doing the same thing over and over again expecting a different result. That to me is just illogical. But that being all said, um, you know, that's uh, that's just part of it. And they are, those that particular family, they are very hard workers. They're out there crabbing and fishing, uh, mom-pop style. To support their family uh, independent fishermen 
in the Gulf of Mexico to support their family. And that's not an easy life. That's not an easy job. Um, I hope this spring to actually go out with them at some point and document what they do and what it looks like to be a commercial fisherman uh, working by the, your bootstraps. There's some interesting things I got in the works for my trip once I hit the road. I'm still planning on being on the road in January. <clears throat> There's a lot of things that got to happen between now and then. <clears throat> Desperately need some local volunteers. Uh, if you know somebody with an industrial sized welder someplace in South Central Pennsylvania, I'd be interested in chatting with them because we need access to a industrial sized welder for a day or two to do some uh, fabrication to make this whole thing work a little smoother. So if that's possible, I would love to speak to whoever you know that might be able to help us with that adventure. So all that being said, um, I wish you the best. This is the last day of October. Of course, our organization ended October in the red, which is normal. But nonetheless, uh, I still bring it up because, you know, it does take money to keep the cell phone bill paid or even the gas in the vehicles or insurance or any number of things. Um, <clears throat> it's not a cheap world. So that all being said, I hope you folks have a fine rest of your October. And uh, I look forward to talking to you folks again in the month of November. I might come on one more time yet this month. I don't know yet. Depends on how I feel. But I really appreciate all you folks that uh, write the encouraging emails and text messages and whatnot. Um, I really do. <laughs> it means a lot. If you want to reach the organization by phone, it's 814-429-3276. You can call, text. Uh, you can always email myself, me at ethanthefarmer.com or ethan at ethanthefarmer.com. Um, I will forward your email to the appropriate person or people program to deal with whatever it is you're messaging me about. Or I'll try to deal with it myself depending on what it is. A um, lot of different stuff. We're excited to continue the mission of Farms, Food, Families, and Freedom. Um, as we continue through the year 2020, which has been a roller coaster to say the least. So, thank you very much. I hope you folks have a fine rest of your October and have a fine rest of 2020. Take care. <laughs>